Welcome back to my channel for another video. So today's video is a very exciting video. I am finally getting a chance to go to Ashley's store to do a try on. I'm going to do a fitting room, dressing room, chronicles, fitting room diaries. I don't know what I call these videos. Y'all know what I call them. A fitting room diary trial at Ashley Stewart. I haven't tried Ashley Stewart in a very, very long time. I shopped there sparsely when I was in high school. And um, I think there was one in Carbondale where I went to school. No, that was Elaine Bryant. I don't know. I haven't shopped there in a while. I've ordered some things over the past year or so online, like two or three items here and there, but I haven't shopped there, shopped there in a while. And I'm so, so excited. I'm loving the rebranding that they have going on with the logo and their website. And they still got some bomb pieces. Like, can nobody tell me that Ashley Stewart is not a black, a plus size woman of color clothing store like that? But that's not the point. The point is, the point is, I am going to try Ashley Stewart. I am so, so excited. Um, you guys know I love these fit and room try-ons. I love to try a new clothing store or a brand, something that I am unfamiliar with or I don't know how they fit personally on my body. So before I actually go and purchase it, I know you guys like to see it because, you know, being on the bigger side of the plus size spectrum um you don't get to see a lot of people with my body type and my size trying on stuff so i know got you guys gonna enjoy that so i'm gonna let you guys go stay tuned for the try on haul i'm gonna try to get as many pieces as possible i don't want to be in there forever but i do want to enjoy and take my time and try on stuff i'm super super excited um i'm super super excited i cannot wait so i'm gonna let you guys go Bye. So I knew first thing first I want to try on their jackets as well as a few of their bottoms jeans and whatnot I know this um, Ashley Stewart now offers Melissa McCarthy by seven collection um, unfortunately none of those were in the store and none of their bottoms besides like leggings went up to a 28 so I'm just doing a quick outfit of the day showing you guys what I'm wearing real casual it was kind of rainy that day so like I said, I want to try on a lot of their jeans and their bottoms just so I can see how things fit on me. They have a few uh, trousers and pants as well as dresses. So first thing is this purple studded um, moto leather jacket. Um, this thing was impeccably made like the leather the faux leather is so thick and stiff I just felt like over time this would kind of just wear and fit and contort to your body and look bomb It was a bit much for me. I like the color, but I don't like the studded stars. This is just a bit much um, I do how like how it fits. I believe this was in the 26 I would have probably preferred a 28 because it was a little bit short in the back and I would like the option of having to button it up but not really zip it up with jackets you don't always have to try to zip it up you can just wear it so yeah this was in the 26 and this was $120 moving on is this distress embroidery jacket this is supposed to be oversized this was a 26 28 i believe i like the distressing on it i like the little writing the little drawings they have on it have like a pair of scissors by the button there's a face on the side by the lapel at the top on one of the shoulders it was this was a real cute jacket oversized i think not not for me but again with jackets you don't you don't always have to worry about trying to button them up um, this is just a really cute, nice layering piece.
I do not know what the back says. I didn't. I can't tell you, and I didn't go look at it either. <laughs> I do how like how long it is. I do like the length of it. That is perfect for when you're just throwing on a shirt and some um, leggings. Next one is another denim jacket. This one has um, is a little shorter. It's also distressed. This also claims oversizedness. I like the distress on this one. It's not too much. Um, however, the sleeves are short. And when I looked it up online, the sleeves are supposed to be worn short. You like unbutton them and roll them up. I thought a nice long sleeve sweater or shirt underneath it will be a nice cute effect. I do like the distressing along the hemline at the bottom. I thought that was real cute, real nice. This one is in just a 26. Uh, I'm going to try to find it online because I think I want a 28 just for a little bit more looseness so I can wear thicker shirts underneath it. Oh no, this was a 28-26. The first one was a 26 only. Next up is this domain shop. I like this burgundy maroon color the color is perfect for the fall I like the buttons at the cuff I also like that it has like the stretchy um, elastic at the elbow at the crease of the arm so it gives you like that flare look but it tapers down to the cuff real nice I like the extra little length in the back so it covers the butt I like the fact that I can wear this both tucked into something as well as wear it with a pair of jeans or a pair of pants um, for a casual or a dressed up business look on a blazer like I said I can also I was seeing how it looks when if it was tucked into like a skirt or something this is a real cute uh, simple top I do like these tops and I like the fact that this top fit and I can pull it all the way down to my hips and this top was on sale for only $20 and it was a 26 28 on sale for $10 Next is this cape, the sweater cape. At first, I just thought this was a sweater and it had like the zip details on the side, but this is a cape. And at first, I was like, I don't know about this, but the more I sat and tried it on and was looking at myself, I was feeling myself. Y'all, can y'all see how I was feeling myself? This is the cape and it has the zip sleeve, the zip opening on the side so you can zip open them up and just have your arms out. I thought this would look real nice with a pair of black long sleeve a long sleeve shirt or some black long leather gloves for a night out this is cute for like a date night or if you're going to some events yes honey and this was on sale for twenty dollars and this was a 3x next is the pop t-shirt i don't need to explain why i picked this up um this is just a standard white tee with a screen print uh, of Tupac on it. This one was on sale for $10, I believe. I ended up picking this up. Um, this is a size 3X. I love how they 3X fits on me. It's not too tight, it's not too loose. It's a nice, comfortable fit. It gives you, it covers my butt, so I get, I get a little extra lift in the back, and I like that. That's all I need to say. I could wear this tucked in or just over some jeans with a leather jacket and keep it moving. Like I said, this was on sale for $10. Next is these leggings. These leggings have, um, these are that same burgundy maroon color. Um, I like the fit of these. They have these little strap mesh material at the top, at the waistband, both in the front and the back. These were a bit long on me, and um, they were kind of loose at the ankle area I like for my leggings to be a little bit more fitted towards the ankle ever but overall it had good fit good stretch um, for them being so long I was able to pull them up high waisted they fit good in the back most of my pants most of my bottoms don't go all the way up on on my waist because of my ass but to me that was a good fit I could still I could still work with that I could still reason with that but yeah, there's just some good pants, and I believe these were a size 26, 28. So if I was ever to actually get something out of Ashley Store in their bottoms, it would have to be their leggings. Because that, you know, they don't go up to a size 28 in store, or a size 30. They don't go past a size 26 in store. I would have to get it offline. Next is this sweater dress. I really wanted to like the sweater dress. I was hoping for it because I had the lace top. I liked it, the details and the texture in it. But this thing is sheer. It is super, super sheer. I had to put on my leggings. 
because it was so sheer and I wasn't wearing Spanx or shapewear that day so your girl was exposed but uh, this is real thin I thought it would be a nice little layering piece I like the sparkly material um, the sparkly effect that the sweater material has I like the lace up detail I like the color but it's very thin it has this walking seam on the side oh that was that seam was really crooked and like I said you can see how sheer it was um, again I thought this would be a good layering piece but I don't like how it fits on me and I don't like the hemline the ruffle detail on the hemline you guys gotta excuse me um, Ed Sheer the shape of you was playing and everybody know you can't listen to that song without dancing this is a really good song see I put it on with one of the jackets that I had on earlier because I thought that that would be a nice little layering piece to wear but yeah I was not a fan of the hemline and the sleeve so that kind of deterred me from picking it up that and the fact that it was so sheer okay lastly is this leather crop top I have been looking for a leather bustier crop top for a minute because I have I saw something and it just kind of sparked a style idea in my side in my head. This was on sale and it was 50 it was 40% off. So I think I ended up getting it for like $15. Um it is a size 26. As you see, it doesn't go all the way down, but that is fine. It can sit just like a bustier or bra on me. They will look cute tucked, you know, with a skirt or look cute over a button up, a white or a printed button up with a pair of slacks or a pair of jeans. I cannot wait to wear this all right stylers that's it that's all i have thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this chart on thin room hall and always remember to love yourself fully until next time